Okay, so I've been playing around with my Orange Pi 5 Plus and uh, I realized it does need some sort of cooling. So at the moment I've got a fan uh, and I was using 3.3 volt, but with my triple monitor setup that I'll show later on, I think 5 volt is better because it's pushing more air down onto the CPU and it does definitely keep it cooler. I've put some little feet on it to elevate it up and you can see I've got my 128 gig NVMe drive underneath it at the moment. But uh, these are all nice and solid now. I've put some extra bolts in between them just to make them nice and stable. Just for now, just until I get uh, some sort of 3D printed case or a manufacturer contacts me with a case for it. Uh, you can see the GPIO pins. If I wanted to put it into 3 volt, that would be the one on the left hand side of where this red one is. Uh, but at the moment it's on 5 volt. And you can see I've got... Uh, well, there's a bit of a story about this adapter. I had to cut it down to fit it into something else, but basically I've got two HDMI outputs to go to my main monitor and also my second monitor, but in a minute I'll show my third monitor, uh, which works via uh, this USB-C output and using this USB-C to HDMI adapter, which works great with it. I'm currently using this little USB sound card because I had some issues getting sound to come out of this version of Ubuntu. Uh, it's obviously the Orange Pi 5 Plus has only just come out. I haven't tried any of the official builds yet. I've got an SD card reader in here and I've got my Xbox 360 controller all plugged in. And so at the moment we're using 8.7, it was on 9 watts just now, 9.3 try and show how the fan is connected basically there's uh, one screw going all the way up through and then I've got a couple of bolts to rise it up so it's not touching anything and then I've got a bolt on the top just to secure this fan in place uh, reasonably tight I can move it a little bit but uh, it's pretty tight in place certainly not vibrating or anything so on my dual monitor setup you can see I've got a PSP emulator here and I can drag it from one monitor to the other and uh, if I want to start opening up some other programs, so let's go with Firefox and also LibreOffice Writer. Let's just get rid of that. Where's Firefox? Firefox has come out over here. So again, I can drag it over and I can snap it in place and I can put my PSP emulator here and I can hit resume on that. And you can see that I'm moving around I turn on my speaker. So all of that seems to be working fine. But what if I introduce another monitor? So this USB-C cable, just plug it in. And I'm not sure if it'll wake my TV. We'll see. No, it doesn't wake my TV on its own. But if I tilt that up a bit, you should be able to see all three monitors in there. Let's switch that on. Should be on the last input it was on, yeah, HDMI 2. I've got a Chromecast in HDMI 1. And you can see that it's, uh, well, that's the LG background. So HDMI 2. And you can see I've got all three monitors. Now as it is, half of the TV is obscured by the two monitors that are there. Uh, because I generally use this desk as a standing desk. So if I start uh, opening up apps, so say for instance P-Sensor, uh, and then we'll go for HTOP uh, and say for instance G parted and you can see if I press the home button uh, it gives us the option of being able to drag everything around and uh, show all the open apps and everything like that so let's go up to here and we'll move this down to this screen uh, just down the bottom here and we'll open up a couple of web browsers so what I've got at the top is the Chrome browser. Uh, and if I drag that down, obviously I can make that whatever size I want. And if I wanted, say, webcam and Wollacum, which is near here, and I've got a webcam. And then I can still use Firefox wherever Firefox has gone, or if I not started Firefox. So let's start up Firefox. And I can still use that on this screen. But if I want to use the whole of the TV screen, I'm going to have to use the standing desk uh, as it should be. So if I press number two, you can see it drops the monitors down. And now I can use the full screen. So if I was to take 
Firefox and drag that up. If I drag it right to the top, you can see it goes full screen. Obviously not the best example because of the way it's formatted it, but uh, if I drag that down again, what does Chrome do if I go full? And let's just do BBC Sport. Yeah, funny how it comes up. I guess that's because it's on uh, 4K at the moment. This is a 4K TV. You'd have to play around with that to make it match. I actually had this like this yesterday and I was sat down at the desk and uh, I was using the three monitors and it worked very well. The, the Orange Pi 5 Plus definitely copes with it really well. It's the, I think it's the 16 gig model I've got. Let's go back into screen capture and let's open another terminal. The first one's running HTOP and let's just run NeoFetch because I didn't mention which Pi I'd been sent, uh, but this is the 16 gig version of the Orange Pi 5 Plus. And I'm not sure if the storage will show up the EMMC drive. So other locations. No, so that's only showing the NVMe drive that it's on, but possibly if I go over here, I can drag this. Actually, I haven't got it Gparted installed, so let's install that and open that up and see if it detects my EMMC drive and does it. Actually, it doesn't detect the EMMC drive. That's surprising. I thought it would. I haven't tried any operating system or anything on that, but yeah, it doesn't seem to show it. So let's see how it copes with me opening loads of things up. So let's launch HTOP and PSensor and the Chromium browser and the Firefox browser and files, Discover Store. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, LibreOffice Writer. Oh, actually, I'll open that from Files. So if I go back to Files and Documents, I've got a test document here. So let's open that up and let's drag that over to the left hand side. And let's press the Windows key and I can do things like drag HTOP up to this top monitor. Uh, I'm going to have PSensor down the bottom here. Happy with that. Let's get the two web browsers up the top as well. Uh, I'll just place them there and I'll tidy them up in a second. There you go, so that's all working. So what we got here on the Discover Store, uh, we could start installing something. So we're gonna search and maybe go for Audacity. Is that gonna be all it needs? Yeah, Audacity, and then I can start installing that. Pop my password in. And while that's installing down the bottom here, let's address the top screen and sort out the web browsers. So Chrome browser is a bit big at the moment. I could snap that, I could just move that to the side here. Uh, and let's get something playing on it. YouTube, Play, PSP video, HDR. And on this one, this Firefox one, let's go for Hot UK Deals. And launch that site. So that's playing and then play this video. I think I've got my speaker on, I have. There you go, so you can hear the audio coming out the speaker. So if I drag down, I do lose track of where my mouse is at different times. Uh, it doesn't do the thing where you shake it and it gets bigger like on a Mac. Uh, P sensor, so what temperature have I got at the moment? So the maximum it's got to is 56 degrees. Not sure why the video stopped for a moment there, uh, but it is. I suppose it is doing quite a lot at the moment. And let's stop, I cut a bit of it out because I wanted to show Audacity running. So let's stop that video from playing so we're not using the audio. Oh, not like that though, let's pause that. And uh, yeah, Audacity is now installed. So let's open that up. And let's try importing that MP3 track that I've got. Where's it gonna come up, what screen? So it's gonna come up here. Let's come up right at the top here. That's okay, I'm happy to use it up there. So file, open, let's go to my downloads and there is a track in there and that's importing and if I hit play that will start to play yeah su super impressed with this so as you can see loads of things running 
looks really decent and uh, it's still not even that hot so what 55 degrees with this little 5 volt fan running on it so yeah very pleased with my orange pi 5 plus i'll be doing some more tests on it i hope this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe